guys with season six here it's safe to say maybe i'm not wrong but uh i think this is going to be the final 10 best class setups that you should be using especially in season six since it is the final projected season of modern warfare who knows maybe they might do updates in the future who knows but as far as i'm concerned these are the 10 best class setups that you should be using in season six there has been a ton of nerfs buffs etc etc and some weapons just don't matter as much as the others so that's what we're going to go over today and if you do find this video helpful drop a like on it and subscribe if you're brand new around here if you haven't joined turbo nation yet man what are you waiting for subscribe turn on notifications keep in mind before i go over these class setups my secondaries and my perks and lethal and tactical are all going to be the same exact thing so i'm not going to go over them multiple times so you better pay attention the first time around <laughs> but anyways so for the first gun we are going to be going over the m4a1 and this is the wages of sin skin by the way if you guys are wondering what it is it gives you red tracers and i absolutely love it probably my favorite m4 skin of all time besides the old reliable one i like the all black look as well but anyways for the muzzle we're using the monolithic suppressor corvus custom marksman barrel and for the stock this is no stock and 50 round mags and commando foregrip now these two attachments right here commando and corvus are optional it really depends what game mode you're playing but if you're going to be playing ground war i do highly recommend to change out the corvus custom for the stock m16 which will give you better recoil control and also more damage range so those are obviously important in ground war so you definitely want that under barrel commando foregrip is just fine for 6v6 however if you're playing 10v10 or ground war you do want to change this to the ranger foregrip now the ranger foregrip very underrated under barrel attachment for the m4a1 it definitely gives you a much more beam like accuracy shot so that is my m4a1 setup now for my secondary this is a typical secondary that i use on most of my classes but in very small situations i do find myself using secondaries but if you want an option you can use this renetti here i'm using monolith expressor burst mod lightweight trigger 27 round mags and the xrk speed grip now for my perks i'm using eod ghost and tracker because i like to stay as stealthy as possible i like to minimize the amount of death as possible that's why i'm using ghost and eod and tracker it's just a personal preference you can use whatever you want in the third slot but it just helps me track down enemies a lot faster and it also leads to a much easier kill obviously especially if you're a flanker like me Ooh, easy kills anyways lethal is going to be semtex i used to be a c4 fan but now it just feels like you're throwing a boulder and it just doesn't go anywhere not as viable in my opinion so i changed it to semtex tactical is going to be my stim shot because i want to heal myself as fast as we possibly can when we're injured or we're trying to get more confidence going back into a gunfight stim shot is very essential all right so for my second class setup we have the good old mp5 so for the mp5 setup i'm going to give you guys some options as well but for the barrel monolithic integral suppressor the most important attachment on the mp5 it gives you bullet velocity damage range also that sound suppression it doesn't say it gives you that damage range but believe me it does and it just makes your bullets feel like they're actually connecting instead of getting a lot of hit markers you know it just hits so much harder love the monolithic integral suppressor for the stock we're going to be running with the ftac collapsible stock perk is going to be sleight of hand that one is a must have in my opinion if you're going to be running with the mp5 you want to be able to reload as fast as you possibly can especially if you're playing close quarter combat sleight of hand is a must on the mp5 now for the ammunition, I'm running with 45 round mags. Just want to have as much ammo as possible going into the next gunfight or being able to handle multiple enemies at a time. Under barrel, this one is going to be the operator foregrip. Now, the operator foregrip gives you the best recoil control. Also, at the same time, it has the least amount of cons compared to the other under barrels. Now, an optional route that you want to go with if you want a little bit more stabilization is to go with the commando foregrip. Commando foregrip is not a bad option at all. I do have videos for these individual class setups if you guys are interested in seeing how they play out uh, another option would be to remove the ftac collapsible stock and then to put on the tac laser to give you more aim down side speed to mitigate the negatives on the operator foregrip so that's also an option but for me personally i just run ftac collapsible stock because i like to play aggressive and i need that extra movement speed uh secondary this one's going to be different since we're using the mp5 it has nine millimeter rounds so if we use something like the m19 here for instance this will give us much more ammo capacity in our reserve for the mp5 if you guys didn't know so that's why i'm running 32 round mags very important and the perk fully loaded this will give us as much ammo as we possibly can on the mp5 all right so for my third class setup we're running with the as val this gun is an absolute beast 
I would say it's a little bit harder to use if you're a uh, quote unquote noob to Call of Duty. But if you are a more experienced player and you've got a little bit more skill set than the average player, this gun is going to be for you. The reason why I say that is because it only comes with 30 round mags for an extended mag option. So you do have to be very selective of how you get into these gunfights. And the fire rate is absolutely insanely high. So you have to keep that in mind as well. So 100% keep your engagements very close. I would say maybe 20 meters at the most. You're going to be melting opponents super quick. You melt faster than the MP5, by the way, with this gun. All right. So for the barrel we're running with the vlk 200 millimeter osa this one gives you damage range and bullet velocity highly highly recommend it and another good reason that i like about the as val is that it is an integrated suppressor meaning that when you fire your weapon it does not show up on the enemy radar or the mini map so that is great stuff all right so for the stock we're running with the skelet this one gives you aim walking movement speed and aim down sight speed so this again helps us out when we're in close quarter combat situations you need to have that fast aim down sight speed and the aim walking movement speed just helps you ads while you're strafing left and right a lot faster you're basically going to run circles around your opponents and that's why i really like this attachment perk is going to be fully loaded personally i feel like we need as much ammo as possible in the reserve especially since it is using nine by 39 millimeter rounds it's not your standard nine millimeter round so you're not really going to find this around the match so you would definitely have to run with a munitions box or use stopping power if you so choose to but for me personally i just use dead silence and munitions box because i am a stealth player i like to keep my footsteps silent whenever possible so again we're running with 30 round mags and the under barrel is going to be the merc foregrip this is a close range combat build that is why i'm running with the merc foregrip for that hip fire accuracy we do want that and at the same time it does come with recoil control as well to be able to engage in the borderline mid-range gunfight combat for the fourth class setup this is my mp7 class setup a lot of you guys have been wanting me to make a mp7 class setup so this is my most well-balanced mp7 class setup thing about the mp7 that i love absolutely is the fact that it has very low recoil even from long range so this is basically a mini ar and you can beam people from really long range with zero problems with controlling that recoil. And that's why I like it. So for the muzzle, I'm using the monolith expressor. Barrel is going to be the FSS recon. No stock is going to be for the stock. Rear grip is going to be stippled grip tape. And ammunition is going to be 50 round mags. All right, so this is my specialist class setup. If I feel like running a long range weapon and a close range weapon, this is what I'm going to go with. This build is a lot better on smaller maps. That's why I'm not running a barrel on it. So for the laser, I'm running attack laser. So this would be great for shoot house, gun runner, uh, hackney yard, those type of maps. Stock is going to be no stock, 50 round mag, and the ranger foregrip to control that recoil. All right, so for the secondary, this is optional. Normally, I would run with either the AS Val, the MP5, or the Uzi. But, you know, uh, just for the sake of the purpose of this video, I did want to include the Uzi because the Uzi is one of my favorite SMGs in the game. So here is the class setup that I'm running for it. Monolith Expressor Carbine Pro. No stock. 41 AE 32 round mags. This one's very important. If you have not unlocked this yet, you must unlock this now. This is why the Uzi is very competitive because of this attachment right here. Then the underbarrel is going to be the Merc foregrip. This is how I have my perk set up. EOD, Overkill, and Shrapnel. Then I have Ghost, Restock, and Scavenger. You know, you can use whatever perk combination you want to. It's really all personal preference. It's up to you. Do whatever pleases you. All right, next up, we have the AUG. So the AUG is a very underrated weapon in Modern Warfare as well. It packs a punch, it deletes enemies very quickly, and it has great range. So for my AUG, I'm using the Compensator, 407 millimeter extended barrel, stippled grip tape for the rear grip, Ammunition is going to be the 5.56 NATO 60 round drums and the underbarrel is going to be the commando foregrip. Now notice how I'm not using a monolith expressor on it. So this is completely optional. If you want to use a monolith expressor, you can. But for me, I like running with the compensator to help with the recoil control and get a more beam like accuracy on it. I just use the compensator. All right. So next up, we have the scar, another hugely underrated weapon. I get this weapon is not for everybody. This is more for the advanced type of player because this gun again it only has 30 round mags in it it's not convenient for most people you have to be extremely accurate but the reward is extremely huge so for the muzzle i'm running with monolith expressor barrel is going to be the forge tack 20 stock is going to be collapsible stock this thing aimed outside super slow so that's another reason why it turns off so many people so that's why we got to run the attack collapsible then for the rear grip again we want to help with that aim down sight speed so we put on the stippled grip tape 
And for the ammunition, we're running with 30 round mags. This is really a no brainer, man. It only comes with 30 round mags. You got to have that on. All right. Next up, we have the Kilo 141, another fan favorite. This is a popular weapon that a lot of people love using. So for multiplayer, of course, I want to use the Syngard Arms Whisper. This one gives us sound suppression and bullet velocity at the same exact time. Can't really ask for more than that. Then for the laser, we're running with the tack laser to help with the aim down side speed. And then for the stock, we're running with the no stock attachment. And the ammunition is going to be 50 rounds. And under barrel is going to be the commando foregrip. So, all right. So, moving on to the gra. Growl, however you want to say it. This is a pretty well-balanced class setup. Monolithic suppressor for the muzzle. XRK season MK2 for the barrel. And no stock for the stock. And 50 round mags for the ammunition. And operator foregrip for the under barrel. Now, I know there's people that's going to say, oh, why not use the commando? You know, it's better. Well, you know what? After a couple updates, there are just some things that aren't the same. And the commando foregrip is one of those on the growl. It just doesn't feel like it beams anymore. It doesn't feel as controllable as it was. So once I put in the operator foregrip, the accuracy on the recoil control is so much better. So definitely try out the operator foregrip if you haven't used it yet. And last but not least, this is one of my favorite novelty weapons in the game. Now, the reason why I say novelty weapons in the game is because it's not very practical in most situations. You have to be very selective about how you use it because this only has 45 round mags but again the reward is huge if you know how to use this weapon really greatly if that's even a phrase or a word uh okay monolith expressor for the muzzle zodiac s440 for the barrel stock is going to be the no stock we're going to run with 45 round mags and range of foregrip for the under barrel. Now, this is the most balanced class setup for multiplayer. And trust me, this thing is just crazy beastly and you will delete enemies really quickly. That is the end of the video. I just wanted to give you guys a quick update on what are the 10 best class setups as well as 10 guns worth using in Modern Warfare in Season 6. Like I said, this may be my final 10 best class setup since it is Season 6. It's been a great year. I'm really looking forward to Cold War and giving you guys the best class setups, tips, and tricks. So hopefully you guys do subscribe if you haven't yet. Bro, you watch my videos all the time, but you just haven't subscribed yet. Do me a favor, subscribe, join Turbo Nation today make it official like this video if you did find it helpful and i will see you guys in the next one have a good one peace